This poem, Perhaps the Heart is Constant After All, is from my 2012 collection of the same name. It's a meditation on the nature of romantic love, on the experience of betrayal, and how the poet moves through initial anger to realizing her own part in romantic illusion and myth-making. And the language I wrote it in is quite formal because I want to capture that mythic quality of romantic love. Perhaps the heart is constant after all. Perhaps the heart is constant after all. Perhaps it makes no difference who we love, what voice lures us, what name we call. It's always the same love, is it not? Drawn from the one spring, coursing the same track. It's always the same thirst we slake, the same image in the pool, the same blood-dimmed gaze. Perhaps it makes no difference who we lust for. Isn't it always the same veil we cast over each new form? The finest gossamer illusion can buy, spun from the sheerest silks of faith, hope and deceit. What can it signify at the end of it whose gaze ensnares? Isn't it always the same Serenian song, the same wine on the tongue, the same salt in the wound? If the heart is faithful in the least, is it to the elemental, the universal theme? Is it only in particulars that love betrays, the setting and the costumes? A certain sky, a certain street, oleander at an open gate, a spiral stairs, a white coverlet, the weather and the houses, the language and the streets, surface things, easily exchanged, forgotten, shed like leaves or skin, like memory itself, like the imprint of sight and touch, breath on glass, a particular face. Perhaps this too at last will wane, and with it the afterglow, a certain night, a scented road, the scarred river, the lamplit bridge, a lover crossing over, crossing back, a stranger. Even this too at last will fade, erased like time itself, like the memory of her face, like the memory of that lie.